Hey guys, Kamsi here. Welcome back to ATS Experimental Beta 1.41. We are here to check out the other features because in the previous video, you might have seen that we featured the convoy and I had loads of fun there. So if you haven't checked it out yet, highly recommend that you do. Link will be somewhere <laughs> if I remember to place it. <laughs> in case you have trouble finding it, let me know. Anyway, <clears throat> so what do we have in... 1.41 well we have the quick travel now the convoy this is what we featured in the previous video so we have a quick travel which is very handy you can go to any discovered city and uh, if you look at the price there is a corresponding price the farther from your current location the more expensive it gets uh, but yes it's a bit smart because you cannot actually travel if you have a job currently ongoing so that's pretty smart there you cannot cheat your way through but this is going to be very convenient when taking a job right you don't need to do the console go to command anymore fly and whatnot i like this it's some more uh, it's not cheaty you know all right later on we'll also go into photo studio because that's a perfect excuse to take you guys with me when i'm taking the photo for the thumbnail <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh, explore that and of course we will be in California across I-5 here southbound because I think some of the new areas are here as well. Some of the other areas we've already explored in the convoy video where we were coming from uh, Medford. We went south past the toll gate, the uh, way station, the new agricultural stop. So I really highly recommend you watch that video where I truck with Alex and Jack in a convoy made their way south to San Francisco. So now we are going to Stockton, coming from Stockton rather. Right, let's get going. So in terms of mods, no mods, but I do have a sound plugin, an FMOD sound plugin. That enables me to have Z Mods Detroit diesel sounds. So even though I technically don't have any mods in my mods list, in my profile, I do have plugins, a lot of them. And this enables that sound to be put in. It's a very handy trick for cases when you can't have mods but you can have plugins like in truckers mp like in uh, oh let's turn on our beacons are those on now yes they are okay good we have our flag set uh, this is going to be a pretty heavy load 59 tons lift truck very clunky it's going to be a challenging to turn this guy and I'm not very used to hauling these kinds of super long trailers American trailers so give me a bit of time to adjust okay but I think I should be taking over looping around and circling as much as I can in this turn don't cut the corner rather use up the entire space if possible Let's hope there's no car coming from there. There you go, that's okay. Did that work? I'm not sure. But we haven't gotten stuck yet. Let's see. Yeah, not too bad actually. Not too shabby. And this Western Star 49X is perfect for these kinds of loads, right? Quite nice. But yes, other than that sound plugin. I shouldn't have any other mods enabled in this profile. This is my vanilla profile actually. The one I use whenever we're featuring new DLCs and whatnot. So this has never had any mods put in. Plugins is a different matter altogether though. How about this one? How do we fit in through there? Let's see. Oh, not too bad. Almost kind of hit the the outside of the road there but not that bad oh crap this is where that pulling power comes into play there you go all right let, let 
glad to see you guys enjoyed that convoy video based on the comments based on the activity in there I surely did so huge thanks again to Alex and Jack for indulging me on that test episode that test uh, convoy and uh, yes I'm really looking forward to doing more of that with you guys eventually in line with that we are still a go for the convoy on Friday 28th of May and uh, we'll still be in Truckers MP because as much as I enjoy the official multiplayer convoy still in beta only has a max number of players of 8 so we probably won't fit in because uh, from the initial sensing that I've done there should be more than 8 of us in the convoy that's coming up right so stay tuned for more details but high level it's the 28th of May the usual streaming time for clumsy trucking every Friday so if you're in the US that's actually Thursday evening for you how about this area guys you think this is new it doesn't seem too new to me Mm, probably not yeah and basing on that discovered area it's a yellow road on the opposite side so we've probably been through here before it doesn't seem new to me comparing with that uh, northern side of California where we've had a lot of new sites especially in those uh, agricultural uh, stops agricultural stops or whatnot yeah, those definitely look different. This looks a bit dated, doesn't it? So let's see if we can notice once we step into the new areas, if we can notice it ourselves. And if I miss anything, as always, you guys let me know either as well, okay? Don't leave me hanging. But all good. About the convoy stuff, I was actually really surprised on how stable it was and how everything was just working you know it, it felt so stable it almost didn't feel like multiplayer at all because with multiplayer you almost expect those kinds of fidgety things you know the rubber banding the lag the desync and whatnot but based on that test and based on initial feedback from other players who've tried seems to be working great so amazing job thank you SCS for having that kind of polished work for us and uh, hopefully more improvements come in the near future as the beta progresses how about this one nah let, let, let's save it let's save it I think there will be a new area still later on like I was thinking if it if we should go into photo mode already now nah, let's 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 save it for a bit how about this one? How about this one? <laughs> that will have no end, guys. But yes, it is still very much an experimental, as you can see in the text above. Experimental beta. I heard there were a couple of people who were complaining about that, even having that experimental beta text there. Guys, it's a test. Don't expect it to be something for normal driving purposes. So it's only fair that they put in that text there so everyone is notified this is not the final product. This is very much a work in progress. You should actually be thankful enough that we have access to this, that they don't keep it in closed beta. And if you are interested in trying this out for yourself, then be forewarned. Read the thread. Read the full details and watch outs before you dive in because there are a couple of uh, pitfalls, a couple of watch outs to take note of. <coughs> and the link is in the SES forums. The link to the SES forums is in my previous video. But I'll, I'll, uh, I'll link it here anyway. I'm feeling generous. <laughs> so <laughs> I link it here too. And then you can let me know if you've tried the 141 for yourself or if you've seen others do it. But we've been having a lot of conversations in Discord about 141, especially the convoy feature. 
people seem to like it I've had some folks joining random servers and if you have problems looking for servers let me show you actually I have the same so you're not alone and it's not really a problem I think it's a feature not a bug so let me let me go to the screen okay one second and this one might be a new area mm, what do you guys think it is undiscovered mm, I'm not sure it still doesn't look as complex as the other no it I'm not sure, I'll let you judge it. It's okay. I think it looks better. This might be new already. This might actually be new. Alright, anyway. So, let's see. If you go to Convoy here for me, you'll see there are no sessions, right? Because I, uh, I think what they say in the SCS forums, the sessions here are based on your download server in Steam. So depending on your region, and mine is in Singapore, and we don't have a lot of Singaporean truckers. So no, not even a single server in place. But I think if you have a friend in your Steam uh, friends list who makes a game, a session, then that should appear for you. That's how it appeared for me at least last time with Jack in the Convoy episode. So don't worry if you don't see anything there, that's normal. You can switch download servers and Steam to US, for example, and get a lot more in that list. And you can join some random people if they want. I tried it myself, switching a download server to the US and it worked. I saw a lot of servers in there. Let's take a photo here with the cows and see how that looks. Might be a good time to bring you in. So the new feature as well, photo mode. You can see, actually, yeah, that thing in the bottom. That's a new thing. You see the daytime and weather. Because now, in addition to changing the angle, the field of view, the blur, and all that stuff, you can actually now also, let's tilt that a bit for dramatic effect, you can also change the time of day. Yeah, finally amazing stuff thank you SES yes we've been wishing for this for quite some time and now it's here whoa and not only that you can even change the skybox here so no need for console commands anymore you could actually do this before in console commands but the time is was a bit tricky because when you change the time then that also moves your deadline and oftentimes if you're, you're in a job then You'll be late already. But yeah, this time, I assume you should be able to change that without any hiccup. You can even change to bad weather, right? Raining. Super cool. So it looks like we have four different skyboxes for bad weather there. Oh, that's nice. Pick the best clouds you want. I think I like that one. And then zoom it in a bit more. Looking good right there. Take it. And then, so even though this is 1238, if you go back, one thing is this X doesn't work anymore. I guess that's a bug. And now you have to press escape or press this button. And now it's 841 again. So whatever time you pick in the photo studio doesn't change anything in the actual game, which is amazing. That's exactly what we're hoping for. So this area in I-5 is undiscovered, but I'm not sure if it's just my profile or if this is a new area altogether. It doesn't seem new to me so much. I would vote that it's not. Either that or I'm just not, not noticing the difference so much. I haven't been here in a while. <clears throat> so you guys let me know, okay? Regardless, I am enjoying the trip. Performance is good, even with these uh, front side uh, front hood mirrors, which are a huge hog in performance normally. Especially if you have mirror distance set to ultra, or the highest setting, whichever that is. It's quite nice. Yeah, I, I must say, SES has done a fantastic job with this update. I absolutely didn't expect that I will be that we will be having the multiplayer feature that fast when they teased us a bit about it a couple of months ago 
I was expecting it maybe late this year if we were lucky, but definitely not this early on. So thank you, SCS. I did notice a bit of change in that road structure. Maybe that area was new. I don't know. <clears throat> yeah, but this place, it's been a while since I've been back here in these roads in ATS. Because normally this uh, road is the oldest, not the most scenic. And it really shows the date. But yeah, I think this part has been improved. This looks a bit more complex. The textures look different. Okay, this part I bet is new. Did I get it right? Maybe? Probably not? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not really good at this, am I? Uh, I'll just keep driving. I'll let you guys uh, be the judge of things. Looking good there, left and right. But yeah, this truck is beautiful. Western Star 49X. I think, is this the newest release they've had? Second to the newest, I guess. I, I think the latest one is the Cascadia, isn't it? Close enough. Yeah. Oh man, that's heavy. Going uphill. Come on, you can do it. Huron. <coughs> oh, good there. So when we had that convoy yesterday it took us like mm, my recording the, the the stuff i was able to record took around one hour 20 minutes from medford to san francisco but the final video which you guys saw was only 20 minutes so there was an hour that i cut off <laughs> so that's not i had to cut off a lot of stuff to make it concise but uh, I think it's good overall. I really enjoyed it. I watched it myself a couple of times. I think it turned out to be a very entertaining and insightful video. So hope you guys enjoyed it as well. And yes, I've got a lot. I've gotten a lot of comments uh, suggesting I do more of those kinds. It takes a bit of effort though, recording, <clears throat> setting a time, and then editing it afterwards. So I can't do it as often as I would like, but yes, definitely more in the near future, hopefully. From time to time, we can schedule something like that. And we can see if we can include more people in. What I realized we haven't tested that well are the... Um, what do you say? That one is definitely new, right? Or at least recent enough. Maybe with 140 at least the exit signs also it looks like the gas stations the icons are up updated it does seem like it it's not bad at all actually i like it what was i saying before of course i forgot <laughs> oh man come on I think I got Galax luck now. In the convoy, all I was getting was green. Ah yes, DD60 check break by Z mod. Can't go wrong with that. There we go. So yes, overall really pleased with the progress, 1.41, I did not even expect it to arrive this early, 1.41 itself, much less having multiplayer stuff in, and uh, even much less how polished it is. Actually, to be honest, I was expecting it to be quite a mayhem, being an experimental beta and everything. Oh, that guy will not let me through. Oh, he will. Thank you. I was not expecting the multiplayer to actually work very well. Like, I was expecting weird physics, 
people bouncing around, crashing into each other, rubber banding in place. Because most of the multiplayer stuff in other games do that as well. But looks like maybe I shouldn't have been surprised given that SCS whenever they do something, they really try to make it as polished as possible. They're not the fastest when it comes to implementing new features, right? They, they're more on the conservative side. Like, it's been so long, we've been requesting for a feature to go out of the truck and stuff like that, but they haven't implemented it. And I guess at one point, that's because they're thinking of the bigger picture. Yes, I guess they could say they could implement something, like for, exa for that example, implementing that you can go out of the truck, but what are the implications of that? If you go out of your truck, you can technically go anywhere already. Ah, this is bright, huh? It does feel like a hot California summer day. Goodness. 95 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that hot? I, 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 uh, my brain works in social, so I have no idea. You guys let me know. But yeah, it looks like SES is thinking of the implications. Not just that feature alone. And if they cannot make something polished end-to-end, -end, they don't implement it to be on the conservative side. So they only implement something when they have everything covered. So maybe I shouldn't have been surprised given their track record, huh? Yeah. But yes, amazing job SES. Looking forward to doing convoys with you guys more. And, uh, ooh, helicopter. Just a just did a 180 there out of uh, nowhere <laughs> maybe this area is new everything looks new to me because I haven't been here so long I would bet not though this area and now I'm starting to doubt myself maybe it is must be frustrating for those of you guys who know it by heart yeah we have those guys in the community those experts and uh, really grateful that you have that we have you guys around oh nice really up close and personal that helicopter that must be me enjoying the views here in cali yeah that's something that alex pointed out as well it does seem like those uh, those aircraft, both the helicopters and also the, the airplanes, the fixed wing planes, now have proper lights in them. The nav lights, the green and red, the beacons, you know, the blinking lights. I, don't, I didn't seem to notice that before. But now they are very well, uh, well you see them even in daytime which is great. I like that. So glad they've uh, added that in if that was not there before. Doesn't seem like it. Man, it's super bright outside. I'm sure a lot of people don't like this. They would say too bright. Although on one end, I would say, isn't that how it looks in real life? When it's blazing hot outside, the sun is in its full, uh, fullest uh, intensity, in the middle of the day. Shouldn't it really look like this? Oh, one second. Why does it say trucks on that side? The GPS was wrong. Hmm, interesting. Interesting route, this one. Is this area new? Could be. Could be. But yes, we do have those experts here in the community. Those who can say immediately at a glance if it came from a mod, which DLC it came from, when it was last updated. Unfortunately, I am not one of those guys, so uh, thankful that I have you guys here. Let us know in the comments, okay? How about that transition on the road? Yeah, this might be new, this area. The smoother kind of texture on the road is, I think, one indicator that you're in a newer area that in the vegetation and the overall look of the place so here my bet is this is new or improved at least retouched if the actual roads if the actual road network hasn't been changed at the very least the textures have been improved and the signage added that's my bet at least 
feel free to correct me if I got it wrong. Oh my goodness, that's getting really slow. Yeah, that's why we have a truck lane. Because now we are really crawling. Later on, we'll really be rolling. Did that actually rhyme? Kind of. Uh, how about that truck? Why is that guy not on my lane? Yay! Cheater! I think that guy feels like he's special. Yeah, one thing I was really impressed about was the AI. Not the AI behavior, the AI behavior is still wonky. But in a way that that got us, that made the, the, the convoy a lot more interesting. If you watch the convoy video again guys, you'll notice like most of the stuff that we were pointing out, most of the stuff that were eventful were stuff involving AI. Whether that's AI trying to join the convoy, hot dog man walking on the side of the street, uh, trucks, AI trucks blocking you or AI trucks suddenly stopping, you know, things like that. It's uh, most of the things that we were excited about and we were pointing out and we were like oh do you see this car do you see this truck what does it look like for you and for the most part it works sometimes the colors are not the same but that's a known issue that's a known limitation at the moment so you might see the same truck there the same car in that same spot but the color might be different it has something to do with memory allocation and stuff like that oh my goodness now the Jake Brake is really screaming. This looks really good and now we are entering again the old area. Yeah, that's exactly the transition right there. So that space, I'm sure, has definitely been facelifted. Cool. How far do we have to go anyway? Are we almost there? 41 miles. Okay, nice. The chat is currently not available. Oh, yeah, the chat is actually, you can see it even when you're not in convoy. You can see in the lower right, F9. Cool. But yes, looking forward to more convoys with you guys. With 141, things are really unlocking. And uh, I'm sure it's not only me, but the past couple of weeks, Truck Sim has been kind of okay-ish, you know, more mods, interesting stuff, but it was a bit more mellow, you know, not a lot of activity, and a couple of people I've heard from in the community have not played in a while, not played in months even, some of them, but this new MP feature is starting to get them back in shape. And one can really understand why, because you imagine how you, you saw it, how easy it can be to join someone. Just press escape, go to convoy, see any available server, join them, and then you're in a convoy already. And you can take the same job, go to the same spot and whatnot. So it looks pretty promising really. Can I? Thank you. This area definitely looks new, I think. Yes, I would vote this is new. It looks great from this point of view. Mm, I'm having doubts again. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's so hard. <laughs> so we'll leave it to the experts again. Oh my goodness, that is so slow. But yes, for example, when you start feeling bored, join a convoy, make it more interesting, and you roll the dice. Hopefully, you just didn't you didn't just join a bunch of crazy truckers. But if you did, then at least that gets a bit of excitement in there, right? <laughs> yeah, they really allowed it to to be as public as possible or as private as possible. They didn't. I don't think they have a model of having it uh, massively multiplayer though. Oh crap. Everyone is stopping there. Don't stop. Don't do a full stop please. Oh, this is going to be bad. Thankfully I'm in automatic right now. 
otherwise I wouldn't have been able to survive this. Yeah, this kind of junction might not be the best. Oh, that guy just blocked me. Go ahead. Go away. I need the whole space. Thank you. Because we'll be circling around this junction like this to make sure that we have enough space for our guy. Did that work? Oh, look at that, bro. I think. Maybe. Unless... Doug. <laughs> nah, no, all good, all good. Alright. Even though we're occupying the entire area. No complaints here. Yeah, maybe eventually I'll try that myself. Just join a random convoy, see what we get. Yeah, the, the model is not massively multiplayer, like all the people online in one server. Right now it's like small servers with small numbers of people. A bit more controlled. If that will change in the future, we will see. So that's I guess one of the differentiating factors with Trucker's MP. Because Trucker's MP was meant to be more massively multiplayer. Which in a way is great, but in, in a way can be also chaotic, so it depends on what you prefer. But it's great that we have this choice now. Alright. I myself am more of a fan of the more controlled groups. Because uh, I have no patience for the trolls, the, the guys who purposely troll people. I have very limited time to play and I would rather make it a peaceful, enjoyable trip rather than a trolley one. So I am more into the small groups of people, especially the people who I know about. Oh, that actually turned out great. Nice. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to park that in one go. There you go. Perfect. Awesome. of the beacons. Oh, I think I didn't click it properly enough. 24k in the bank. Now level 22. Nice. Do we need more stuff? Well, why not? Unlock that. Good. Yeah, because this is my vanilla profile. Alright, so thank you for watching guys. Appreciate the company. See you in Convoy soon, hopefully. Yeah, let me know what you think about this new update. And uh, catch you soon. Clumsy trucking and bye-bye.